Thank you for downloading Taxi Fair Meter. Today I'm going to show you how to properly set it up according to your needs and also I'm going to go over the basic layout of the application. So if you click the, these three bars in the center you will see this settings icon if you click on it and then you will be presented with this screen. These are the tariffs. All the tariffs that you save they will be appearing here. So let me just quickly add a new tariff. So if you click on add new you will be presented with this screen and it has all the information that you need to add. Uh, you can, as you can see, most of, the, most of the stuff on this screen is just explaining itself, your company name. You can change anything by tapping on it and you will be presented with this one and you can add your value. Let's say, let me add the company name to, let's say, new company and click save and that is, as you can see, changed to new company. All the values can be changed to whatever you want. Uh, just uh, a little bit of indication about this, because some of uh, some of the drivers explaining about, uh, sorry, some of the drivers are complaining about um, that their fares are going down instead of going up, because if you read it properly, it says cost at the end of one mile. That means if a passenger is in your car and you drive that passenger around for one mile, how much would you charge them? Let's say you charge them £2.50. You can change those values according to your, obviously your company's tariffs. So, and then you can't type in 250, 250, 250 all the way up to this point. You have to type the, this, you have to type the actual fare that you charge the customer for that distance. So for the cost of two miles, let's say two miles, you drove somebody for two miles, how much would, cha would you charge them? And obviously, I have set it up to five. You can set it up to whatever you like. So uh, that's the only thing, that's the only reason some people have their fares going down instead of going up. You have to type in the value at the end of that mile. Everything in between will be calculated automatically by the application. You don't have to worry about it. Let's say you drive somebody for 3.5 miles. Don't worry, you won't be losing even a penny the application will do everything for you okay so don't worry about that and there is one more thing i need to mention here uh, this i've tried my best to make this application as flexible as possible uh, so up to 10 miles you have to add the value of uh, the fare that you charge them but after the 10 miles you just you just type in the value per mile so because I couldn't go all the way to 50 or 60 or 100 miles. Um, the first 10 miles, most of the companies, they have different types and different um, needs. But after 10 miles, most of the companies, they just stick to a standard fare per mile. So after that 10 miles, um, every single mile onward, you can just type in the value of per mile. It's not going to be the value of, let's say after 10 miles, it's not going to be the 11th mile. It will be one mile distance lets you drive one mile and you charge them let's say two pounds fifty or whatever after the ten miles you can just type that here and uh, that's it a uh, little bit explanation about the auto rating let me just go over that as well auto rating is set to yes by default because uh, this is for those companies like let's say you are stuck in traffic or you stopped at the traffic lights uh, auto rating will be like you, your, the application will be charging your customer automatically. Uh, you don't have to click any button or anything. But if you want to do set turn it off, you can just click on it and set it to manual. In that case, you will have a button appearing on the right side of the main fare, which you can click and you will be charging the customer manually. It, this is just because some companies they don't even charge waiting time. So this is just for them. So I'm gonna leave it as auto. Now, once you've once you've added edited all the values, you just need to click on save tariff. This is very important. If you don't if you don't click save tariff and you click on these tariffs, it will take you back and all these values will be gone. It won't save. So you have to click save tariff. Now, if you say yes, it will bring you back to the tariff screen. Oh, I forgot to change the tariff name. Let me just quickly change that. Oh, also, 
that this will show you another feature of the application. So let's say you have saved the tariff and you, as I have done a mistake, I needed to change the default name of the tariff. So I can go drag it towards the left halfway and click edit and it will bring me back to what I set up before. Yeah, as you can see, everything is here, new company and all that, everything we changed. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change the tariff name to car for now, just to show you and click update. Yes, I would like to update. And as you can see, it's it's gone to car and let's just change this one as well, edit. And let's just change this one to minibus, yeah? Minibus and save. Update, yes. And as you can see now, this screen is making sense for you. Uh, you only have to set up once and then you can just simply switch between tariffs by tapping on it and saying yes to it as you can see the green indicating the current tariff that is being applied to the fares so that's all that's why i have separated from the from the main fare setting because in the previous version it was inside the main fare setting and it was a bit hard for some of the users to understand but now as you can see you can add as many as many tariffs as you want and you will not have a problem you can just simply click on it and it will switch even when your meter is running you can switch tariffs and it will apply it um, automatically onto that fair fair setting so you don't have to stop the meter while the if the meter is running just you can come into this section and change it no problem it will update everything accordingly okay let me just go back to the main screen now I'm gonna go over the just the basic layout of the application now so let me just close it. So this is the GPS accuracy of your application. If it is less than two bars, it means uh, the accuracy is not that great. So uh, the application will also warn you about this. So you don't have to worry about it. It's, it's just the indication. So you know you, how good is your accuracy. Your company name, as we set up to new company, as you can see, it's pairing here. Uh, and then speed. Most of the stuff on this screen is just explaining itself as well. Uh, the main fare, distance, extras. Uh, let me just show you how to set up extras. Let's just start the meter for now. Start the meter. As you started, the first mile, as we set, is 250. So, and uh, yeah, this, is, this plus sign is to add extras. You click on it, and then you see fix fare and add extras. If Let's say you have a fixed fare journey, you can just fix it here. Just type in, let's say 50 pounds and confirm, and it will it will be fixed. It doesn't matter how many miles, how long you drive, it will stay 50 pounds. And mm, for argument's sake, there are con circumstances when you the, the customer wants to go somewhere else in, in, the, in that fixed fare, they wanna just just go, let's say they have a diversion, they wanna pick up somebody else, then you want to increase the fixed fare, you can simply click on this again and change fixed fare, yeah? Now, you can type in anything and it will change it to that amount. And if you don't want to have the fixed fare at all, you can simply go back, change fixed fare and type zero and confirm, and it will bring you back to the standard fair setting and as you can see it is char charging according to the distance that you have traveled so everything is happening on the go you don't have to worry about anything you can change what whatever you want on the go you know what i mean if a customer mess about with you you can simply add or you can simply go into the tariffs and switch it to let's say an expensive one and it will do the trick straight away you know so that's just for your ease. And now let me just end this trip. Click yes. And now this is the history setting. Obviously we have just done the one journey and now we will have a journey saved here. Uh, I've tried these before, so uh, it's good. I can explain that as well. So if you click on the journey we just completed, you can see all the breakdown of the journey is here. You can send the receipt. It's very easy simply click on the send receipt and you will be emailing that to the customer and let me go back you can now here this list 
here you can delete any journey you want simply by dragging to your left delete and or you can clear the whole list by clear all yes and as you can see the whole list has been cleared and then you go back and this small navigation icon this is just this is just a basic navigation it's not a robust navigation system it's just because obviously you want to know your whereabouts and you want to have the basic like left right and this will guide you enough about that so let me just put in <clears throat> Christy Lane here because I can see it on the map and uh, it will be guiding you towards that as you can see simple guidance simply tap on this arrow and it will pinpoint onto that yeah it will be guiding you along the way so uh, that's all about it uh, what else uh, I don't think there is anything else I need to explain about this ap application. I hope you guys understand everything now. And if you want to cancel this, when you start stop your journey, it will cancel itself. Or if you want to cancel it, you can just simply go back here, clear this up and s click done. And that's it. It'll be gone. The screen will be cleared. And now if you can't see yourself, simply tap this and it will bring you back in the middle of the screen. Okay. Uh, that's all for now and um, thank you so much again for downloading and uh, also yeah sorry I'm sorry I forgot to explain one thing when you start the journey as you can see this free ride this is there for you guys because this is a trial version uh, if you want to use it professionally you might want to pay to remove ads obviously you won't see any ads but this is the only thing you will be seeing and this if this appears in front of the user oh sorry in front of the, in front of the customer obviously there will be saying oh what's that free ride thing so you you definitely want to remove that by paying uh, the remove ads fee okay it's not much for you guys trust me you can do it and uh, thanks again take care bye bye